Hello, this is Liz Kelly live in Hollywood at the Turner Classic Film Festival. And I am here with Vincent DePaul, and we are celebrating all the classics today. And we just saw The Good Earth with Louise Rayner. And Vincent is going to tell us all about Louise because he got to have lunch with her yesterday. <laughs> I am so very happy for us to be here at Turner's wonderful uh, lounge, Turner Classic Movies, uh, here at the Roosevelt Hotel, has created such an amazing film festival. I had the extreme honor of being invited to have an intimate lunch with the two-time Academy Award-winning actress Louise Rayner. She's the only actress that has won an Academy Award consecutively, and that is a hundred years old. She's actually a little bit older than a hundred, you know, so that's phenomenal. She is so gracious and so kind, and I had this amazing lunch thanks to Darcy Heltridge of uh, Turner and her daughter Francesca there in Beverly Hills. And when I saw her today at the movie that we saw at the Grauman's Egyptian Theater, she was fantastic. And her wonderful interview before was amazing. It was spectacular. She just had so much wit and, and lit up the stage. And my favorite story was all about her husbands. She had two husbands, and I'll let Vincent tell you more about them. Uh, uh, she is a remarkable woman that gives so many pearls of knowledge and wisdom of old Hollywood, about cinema, about Metro Goldwyn Mayer, and about her love. And her first husband was, of course, the great writer Odette. And then her second husband of 47 years was a British gentleman. And the one thing that she said that I, I think stands out in my mind is that he put her in the center of his universe. So there was this unconditional love between the two. And I think that that speaks volumes. I think that we should always do that. We should honor our husbands. We should honor our wives. We should always be there for them. And she said that. And it really touched so many people in the theater. <laughs> I want to switch a minute to Baltimore because Vincent and I are both from Baltimore, so we know how to say, hey, hun, and, <laughs> and Natty Bose. So tell us about your first movie, Hairspray, with John Waters. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it was 1987 in Baltimore, Maryland, and I did this film about integration, about no matter what size you are, if, if you're heavy set, skinny, no matter what color your skin is, it's about loving and caring about others. And that message had such a great great theme about diversity and I still think that it applies today and I love the remake 20 years later with directed by Adam Shakeman with John Travolta and Zac Efron and what they did in that story they updated it but they kept the essence of it that is so very important I'm just happy to be here and I am very pleased next week I start principal photography on the new feature film called Walk a Mile in My Pradas and I co-star with Nathaniel Marsden, wonderful Bruce Valange, Tom Arnold, Emerson Cooper from Mamma Mia, uh, beautiful Kristen Lee, Dee Wallace from E.T. So it's like a, a wonderful, great romantic comedy set in the Christmas time written by Rick Carrata. So I'm very pleased. Well, congratulations. I, d I do have to ask about one more movie because I write about <laughs> love in the movie. So tell us about Sex in the City 2. Uh, yes, um, there's a lot of love. Uh, Michael Patrick King, the original director from the episodic of HBO Sex and the City, directed Carry On Sex and the City 2. And he's so great. He, he pinpoints exactly about the moment to moment about love. And in this movie, there is love. There is a wedding. Uh, the character is <laughs> the Italian. His last name is Marino in it, and you all know him. And he gets married in the wedding, and he has fun time. And Liza Minnelli performs, and she sings a song that Beyonce Knowles originally sang, and it has to do with ladies, all the single ladies. And she does a great job, and she has the Lizettes, which are flanking exact replicas of Liza Minnelli performing at the wedding, at the reception of, uh, of this amazing... Um, let's say Hampton's wedding so I think everyone's gonna love the love story and everyone's gonna love seeing Carrie and how she carries on
I love it. Well, thank you again. It's been a great day with Turner Classic Movies, and we should scan this lounge because it's really amazing, all these black and white pictures from things like Casablanca. What do you see? I see beautiful Elizabeth Taylor in the movie Butterfield 8, which she did so very well, and also Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Uh, just amazing, amazing pictures of our past uh, Hollywood. I am so humbled to be here. I represent like a younger generation of Hollywood, but I'm so happy to be part of this tradition. And thank you, Liz, for joining us and celebrating in the Great Earth screening with Louise Rayner at the Grauman's Egyptian Theater today. Well, thank you. And that's a wrap.